hi, welcome to the Suicide Silence Podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> Daniel Kenny. Um, Damn, the full name, dude. We we just got demonetized right there. <laughs> The, the word, the word suicide. Daniel Oigen Kenny. Daniel Oigen Kenny. Good old Kenny, D E K dude. up in your deck. In your badussy. When, when, when was the last time someone said your full name? Uh, just five seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, your black metal name would be Oigen. Maybe when I went. Would, would. Would. That would for sure. sure. Dude, Oigen. Dude, Oigen. Do you, ever, do you ever call? Do you ever call Pat Patrick? <laughs> Patrick all the time. Yeah. Even my, even my, our we have a friend that we hang out with named Pat. But sometimes I like get kind of drunk. I'm like Patrick, and, but it just comes out. So no one yeah, calls yeah, him yeah. Patrick. But yeah, I call him. I even call him Patty. Like I call my brother. Patty. Oh my god. Hey, what's, what's Pat's middle name? Jacob. I never knew that. Patrick Jacob Kenny. That's a way cooler name than Daniel yeah, Eugene. Yeah, but Pat dude. didn't Eugene's know how to spell. I mean, Eugene though. is. Yeah. Like, I love Eugene. Yeah. Pat didn't know how to spell Jacob until he was like ten years old. <laughs> What? <laughs> For real, when he was little, he thought his name was J A C U P. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob. Dude, that's like me though, because my middle name is Kimball, and yeah. it's Kim Ball. Kim Ball. Yeah, and I thought it, my name was, was K I M B L E. Kimball. I don't know why. Oh, that's what oh, I thought wow. it was. My till I was yeah, probably like oh, eleven. Wow. All right, but that, I all feel right. like that one's. A l- nah, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right, so we challenge all. You can you spell your full name? <laughs> Who, Ernie's? No, anybody. Can, Whoa, can, why can am I? Because I got fucking four names, dude. Jesus, dude. Give me yeah. a fucking can break. You, can you spell your full name? I can. Absolutely, I can. All right, we'll see. Well, I would hope so. Dude, is, black, is that a black metal band generator? What about black metal? I wish they could do a name. Right, well, well, we just found out DK's black metal name. Is Oigen, Oigen, dude. Dude. The bass player from Sweden. Dude, I've been getting into the fucking black metal history the past month. Congratulations, finally. I know, finally, dude. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. It took you 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. Dan can, Dan he's right got now, timing, dude. dude. It's great like, timing. Dude, black metal I knew, sick as fuck. I knew nothing about it, dude. Who's your favorite black metal band, I'm not, Okay, dude. again. I don't like black metal. I don't like thrash metal. I don't know nothing about those scenes. I don't like yeah, them. I yeah. don't fucking like them. Yeah. So, but when you're curious, you start doing some deep dives. Yeah. I'm always late. I'm always late late to the party. I don't know nothing. Right. I don't know more than anyone in in, in the room in this sure. short amount of time. Guys, you're the only one in this band that really reads books. That fucking barely, barely. But dude, that history is fucking dark. Oh, it's very dark. That's fucking dark history dude I'm sure you just finally found oh, out dude, oh, the, I mean obviously I'm, I'm late to the party the guy, cheers this because I'm waiting yeah. to drink a, yeah drink same alright so the guy fucking, it is dark you just learned shit. about dude killing himself and all that I stuff I learned well okay. I cause you know sometimes you hear like mm, damn that's fucking tasty cheers yeah. I mean you hear like the rumors and the rumblings but when you actually sit down for like a you know a period of time you Black. find you, know, you, you learn about uh, the singer of Mayhem Dead. You learn about his yeah. his uh, his upbringing, his childhood, his his parents. Oh, it's just like the whole thing is just it's dark. It's just, it's just dark. Both those dudes are pussies, so the thing dude. the thing about black oh, the, the thing yeah. about black metal now I feel like it's kind of like almost kind of how rap is. So rap back in the day used to be scary and gunshots and fucking kill you, fuck your crew, black yeah, black, black, black red blue green. They all had their own gang colors. Mm-hmm. But now black metal used to be scary, and now it's just even. Now yeah. I feel like it's just we're just sick musicians that dress like this. Yeah, yeah. It's not you can like say a, that about any scene though. Yeah, I mean like rock stars mm, don't do true. heroin Punk, true. anymore. Yeah, yeah, rock, rock mm-hmm. and roll, rock and roll is like slowly dying because now you get, you're afraid to fucking mm-hmm. do the drugs and drink like you're supposed to. Yeah, he's like <laughs> not us. <laughs> yeah, you I, have, I, like you're supposed to. Yeah, you need to uh, do drugs, have orgies, and fucking. Not well, everybody a, grew up watching the Pantera home videos anymore, and yeah. shows, or they had friends, and shows. or they had friends that died, and it fucking slowed them down. So yeah, black metal is That's fucking out. pretty, pretty sick. And when I met Doom Burger, he was like my favorite black metal band. He, when I met Doom Burger, he, <laughs> when I met no, Doom Burger, they, they were all. When I made, I met them all, but they're all so normal uh, and nice. But I was expecting them to be kind of like, fuck you. When they came out, we're black metal. Demo. Of early nineties. Like, early early nineties. Maybe even late eight, late eighties, maybe even. It's good, it's good. Mm. I don't know about no, maybe early ninety three. I think Stormblast came out in ninety yeah. three. So yeah, you expect black metal people to be kind of like from how, uh, how, how old are you ninety three, Dan Kenny? From uh, where, from from where, Jay? Where they're from? They're from Nor- Norway. Yeah, they're yeah. Nor- Norway. Yeah, they're from nice. Norway. That yeah, area, man. Black so metal, weird. dude. Yeah, I feel like black metal gets a bad rap because there's so much shitty black metal nowadays yeah but like mm-hmm. og black metal was creative 
and fucking fearless yep. and fucking really extreme. Yeah. And it just as badass as like the beginning of punk. Like punk was mm. badass when it came out. Yeah, and you know? yeah. and then it sure. became Green Day in Blink one eighty two and, and it fucking lost tough. all its cool. You Interesting. Know? Yeah. I never thought about so it. So black that metal way. is the fuck it's just another version of all this shit. Like so many people so me, when I was in high school, let yeah. me put some corpse paint on and go to the fucking cemetery. It's not cool anymore, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, feel like all, I feel like all of it suffers wow. a similar fate. Yeah, back in the day you see time, someone you know? doing that, you'd be like, That's creepy, man. You see someone doing that fucking nerd. Yeah, you fucking yeah. Nerd, yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. Go home. Wipe that shit off your face. <laughs> Dude, what's the what's the black metal generator thing? Are you still on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's my name, dude? Who guards this? Uh, this is a kind of a lame. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Chris would be Klaus. Klaus. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty bad already. No, his his would be his would be uh, Christoph. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Christoph. What's his first? Where's the T? Thomas. Where's Thomas? The T. Necro Butcher, oh, dude. I'm fucking getting dark, dude. Klaus Necro and Butcher. G. Okay, that's yeah, stupid. It, it's kind of weird how it has Arza in it. Yeah, it is kind of weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like meant meant to be. That J word sounds really hard to say. So, what did you learn about black metal that made you go, "Wow, this is fucking yeah, wow. dark shit." We, it was uh, going into the history of uh, of dead. Oh yeah, and, uh, his his parents divorced right after he got uh, he was he was born. Yeah, and uh, I believe to try out for mayhem, he sent a tape with a crucified bird in like a letter because yeah. that's how they communicated back then, like through like letter. And then I asked because I was curious. Okay, so that happens with mayhem, and I was curious. But man, if you're starting a band, this comes out. That's like that's like in like the news or like over there. So oh, people, yeah. I was like, how do you start a band like like Demu? I guess I just learned right now. Ninety three and like bands that came after ninety one, the the information was so slow to go out because they were they're they're talking about it via letter. Yeah. So you, so you can still have rumors and like how exactly like what like what happened. Totally. He was that young guy dad too, was man. like the most black metal dude ever. He was young, man. Yeah. Picture looks like, yeah, young, good-looking, fucking. Was he Swedish or Norwegian? Norwegian. He's Norwegian, yeah. yeah. And then obviously, uh, what what happened after dead? Uh, one of his obviously the, the famous story, I guess. But yeah. I just went 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 into it. Uh, yeah. Like a certain band member was like infatuated with you know dead, being dead, kill, killing himself, and yeah. the other band member didn't. Yeah, and, and then, then snorted got, his skull. Yeah, crushed up his fucking skull and snorted it. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole movie about it, but it's like not really that. Probably like, probably on point, but it's the still, book. The movie with but the they made it after the book, right? With it, Macaulay Culkin's brother. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What movie was that? Um, uh, yeah, Lords of Chaos. Yeah, that mm-hmm. movie. I'm about to do a little deeper dive. Just out of curiosity, I I just uh, realized that a we were just, we were just looking at Necro Butcher, the bass player for Mayhem. We still in, he was in the band in the '80s, still in the band now. Uh, he he wrote a book recently, so I'm about to do a little a little oh. dive in that. I'm just curious, dude. Just yeah, it's it's crazy. Lords of Chaos is the one that it's the there's a book. Yeah, first, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I read it in high school. It was fucking badass. And then I should read that. Girl. Then Macaulay okay. Culkin's brother made a movie <clears throat> about on my list being. It's like the required reading for early black metal fans. Like, really? Oh yeah. Okay. Lords you, of Chaos. They that. made a shitty movie and everyone forgot about the book. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not. I didn't think the movie, the movie wasn't that. Oh bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. I Damn. thought the movie was pretty shitty. <laughs> Damn, but, you know, dude. The, the book is fucking. That's like the most popular. I was a fucking nerd, dude. When I was I, when I got into black metal in in high school, it was like the coolest shit to me ever. My mom was a church lady, and the idea of people fucking burning churches was the fucking coolest thing in the world. <laughs> wow. And yeah, like me and fucking Brandon Zaki, we would fucking watch the old European fucking news footage, and when th- it happened in LA too, there was like copycat mm. church burners. Mm. And like that shit was pretty fucking, this even is, though it was a small scene, like it spread. This is the movie, Garza. <laughs> okay. Watch this shit, dude. To me sick. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, everybody talks shit on fucking black metal like it like it's not create. I don't know. I th- I think black metal is very creative. I feel like mm-hmm. they had to have 
you don't go and sound like that without having a that's, vision. I thought that was yeah. Jerry Jordison for a second. Looks look like I'm a. Yeah. You know who opened my mind up first of Black Panther was uh, Kyle from a Vitriol. Yeah. Because um, I heard him talk so highly of it. I was like, oh, I guess maybe there's. There's different black you know. metal people, black metal people, like people who love the shitty recording, like dark old stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, like, and then there's like, people who like good like production, like ripping drummers. That's me. That's what I like. Yeah. Garza, you did the fucking podcast with Dark Funeral. Lord, man. What's Great. his name? Lord Ahur. Yeah, I think it's Ahriman. Ahriman, Swedish. Yeah, I, I've always wondered about that guy. I love that he kept the sunglasses on. Yeah, Hard same. Body. Hard yep. body. Yeah, that's black metal as fuck. Yeah. It so is. like, Dark Funeral's done a lot of tours with black, with death metal bands too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of shit with Cannibal. Mm -hmm. So very open minded guy. Oh, totally. Very. Uh, he's from feel, Sweden, mm -hmm. right? Or, I don't know. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was from North North Sweden, and then he moved to Stockholm when he was eighteen. Okay. I feel like when you dive into black metal, you're diving into different sects of Satanism. So people that are very well read in spiritual practices so yeah. you will encounter very interesting people talking to satanists mm. because they've satanism's like the main thing you do is worship yourself yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so you do whatever you want mm -hmm. <laughs> it gives me chills thinking about it yeah, yeah. but uh, but not everybody like like take silenaz from fucking demo one yeah. of my favorite guitar players if you follow him on Instagram, he's like the deepest dude. You really? Know, really? You're like, wow, like this guy, it's it I don't I don't huh. know him personally. Okay. But he seems like the deepest, sweetest, like spiritual kind of dude, you know? Yeah. And I feel like, like black metal like, people are like, like really deep. It's like Shagrath going, oh. Take a morning walk, beautiful day today. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? Totally. Like, yeah. Go kill a cat, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go touch go touch, touch the trees. Dude, touch the trees. and the part I was, I was curious about what touches of what, what Mark was saying is like uh if you're into if you're into that like okay, okay so so what's your belief after you die i'm, I'm just curious like when you're in a black metal band and you have to i was like man what's like the what dude, you go to hell and you get fucked by your lord and master for the rest of eternity no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to come homies with the guy you love so much and well, he fucks you <laughs> i've always thought about this too where like and I'm fucking speaking from my ass, obviously, because this is jokes. But yeah. fucking if so, getting fucked in the ass is a sin. So black metal people, they could be gay and be totally down, and then they go to jail, go to fucking hell for. I fucking lost the plot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking incredible, dude. You were, that was you, your mind was doing yeah. well. I, my mind yeah. does all the time. The 50, edibles kicking in is what's happening. 50, yeah. 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 yeah, your mind is doing fifty I'll, ideas at once. Real, real talk though, is, um, one of the like like main like black metal dudes came out as gay a while back. Uh, Probably. What's his name? Uh, Gall. Oh, Gauls, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's actually gay, but he's a fashion designer for sure. So probably no, no. He did. Mm. He he did an interview. Gaul, with, I think. Yeah, no, you're th Gaul from Dark Throne. Oh, mm. yeah. Uh, he, he he did the an interview where like he tells the singer of Thirty Seconds to Mars, or whatever. Yeah, Dan Kenny. Yeah, he did, he did an interview <laughs> with someone. On, and he he kind of looks like he kind of looks like the actor Jared Leto. Jared Go Leto. Oh my he, god, he kind of he kind of does. He kind of does. But he said he told he told the interview that he's gay, and like I don't doubt him. I don't doubt it. Good for him. Jared Leto needs to do what black metal rolled. Now Jared Leto needs to come out as gay. What? Yeah. yeah. Stick it, 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 it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I think he already did a couple roles as gay, right? Yeah, see? He, he's Gaul, probably yeah. Norwegian black metal scene is open like, yeah. Nice. His interviews are so fucking badass. Dude, they, are they? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. The, the, Damn, the, the best one, one is the, the fucking Satan. Yeah, And Satan. he just takes he's a like, sip of the fucking... Yeah, he's like oh, just stirring his wine the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I did I a book report. In. I did a book report in high school on the on the Satanic Bible. My, <laughs> my, really? te my teachers, you? My teacher said I didn't have to do a book report on the book the whole class was reading because I didn't read it. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, you didn't read it? She goes, well, what do you read? I was like, I have the Satanic Bible at home as a joke. And she's like, do it on that. I was like, I really do have it. And I was, she's like, do it on that. And really? I did it. Yeah. What grade? Uh, like 11th grade. Dude, that's sick. That's kind of badass, Dan so, But yeah, what well, Mark was bringing about the worshiping yourself or whatever, if you look up the, there's rules of Satanism, and the rules Statement. all make statements. They all, the yeah. statements, they all make sense. Like, they're rules that you will agree with. I love yeah. most of them. Yeah. Like, the one with, uh, like, if you pull them up, the nine statements, yeah. Look at, look okay. at, look at those. Yeah. 
Well, I agree with number one for sure. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I Satan represents one. indulgence instead of abstinence. Yeah, for sure. Satan represents vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Yeah. Okay. Satan represents unidentified wisdom. Inst- undefiled. Oh, undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. Yeah. Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on yep. ingrates. Yep. ingrates. Ah, that, that's pretty that's dope. Satan that's represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. That one, that's that, hard. Could, that one can yep. bite you. Satan represents responsibility to the responsible instead of concern for psychic vampires. Yeah. Which okay. you've had to have read the Bible to know yep. what psychic vampires yep. are. They're people that drain you of your energy. People that suck. People that aren't okay. fucking. They don't give you energy. Satan represents yeah, man. It's just another like animal. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude. Isn't, <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Wait, is uh, I, 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 help I, I know. I, I wanted to say, isn't there some one stuff that says you never ever ever harm children? I kind of thought so. And there's also one that you never kill animals yeah. except for warmth or for food. Insane. I thought there was ten statements, not nine. Yeah, maybe those are just like. And I remember. The, yeah. yeah. Mm. I remember one of them, and I loved it when I was in high school. It was like, if Yo, someone smites on. you, you smite them twice as hard. Hold yeah. on. Number, number <laughs> nine is smite. sick, dude. Satan yeah. has been the best friend the church has ever had. Has he kept it in business all these years? Boom. Damn, dude. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but the one about you never kill an animal except for warmth or for food or for, like, reason, yeah. is that's legit. And then mm-hmm. the other one is, like, you never, ever, ever harm little children. The Bible doesn't say that. <laughs> it should. Mm. That's a common sense thing, though. But interesting, the eleven rules of the earth is that the one? Maybe that's the one. So, with so the, yeah, on... that's the boy the one that has the yeah number nine. That's what I meant. Do not harm little children, and do also not kill non-human do, animals unless you are attacked, attacked or, or for, for your food. food. Wow. So that's in that's actually in, in the box, Satanic so Bible by not, Anton Lavey. Interesting. Him. That's sick. Number eleven's pretty tight. <laughs> when walking in a open territory bother no one if someone bothers you ask him to stop if he does not stop destroy him yeah <laughs> so that's that's literally that's literally, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, all that's literally in the bible it's in there huh yeah. interesting that's the most common sense those are, all number five do not make sexual advances unless you're given the mating signal shut the fuck up oh yeah I can, can, <laughs> Yeah, consent, dude. Ernie cannot be a, a, a Satanist. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, oh fucking K. Yeah, er, Ernie can't get past number one. <laughs> <laughs> Do not give your opinions or advice unless you are asked. <laughs> I don't think any of us can. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> true. That's true. That's yeah, so pretty sick. So that's it. Go read that book, y'all. Follow so it. I fucking, dude, I love the Satanic Bible. Yo, when I read if it. a guest in your lair annoys you, treat him cruelly and without mercy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. When in another's lair, show him respect or do not go there. That's dude, like, this should have been the fucking Halloween right? Yeah. Yeah. episode. It's fucking black metal, dude. Listen, it's, it's, it's going great still. We're yeah. fine. We're fine. <laughs> Get, getting into the fucking Thanksgiving. You know what? Spirit. I gotta. I gotta say though, a lot of our fans that like you know live love deathcore have no idea about black metal about any no. of it. Mm. You know, Lorna Shore is probably the closest they get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. you guys, I wish that you guys could listen to the, even start with Dimu and Dimu Borgir and Cradle of Filth and just like see where that takes you. Honestly, DK, I didn't know you liked black metal so much. I, I always it. knew Marcus like the fucking guy. I, I had no idea you were like. I just had my phase. Who's your favorite black man? Oh, yeah. Carpathian Forest was where I kind of like topped out on the most fucking. See, that's how I know you like black men. I've never even heard of that fucking. Oh, they're great. Yeah. I mean, Carpathian Forest. Yeah, it's literally like the lyrics are all about like, yeah, sodomizing shit and fucking like weird shit, shit. dude. It's cool. There's also a, there's a, a mock black metal band called Carpathian Moon Forest, which I heard is members of Slipknot. Which the drums are them ba- uh, hitting on an, a on a, a drum case, yeah. and, and like it's not a real band. It's so fucking funny. Acoustic guitar. What the fuck, it's, dude? It's so funny. Hmm. Yeah, Carpathian Moon. Yeah, it's kind of this band's like Graveworm, yeah. who's good. There's a lot of Who? fucking Graveworm. Graveworm. Limbonic yeah. Art okay. is a good black metal band. I also uh, I also just found out about this band called Tombstoner. Oh, I loved dude. Oh, one of their, their guitar the player, their guitar player was at our show at the Pontiac in Michigan. I hung out with them. Uh, what? They're fucking, really? You know who told me about Tombstoner is Gabe Ochoa. He wow. was like, "Oh, you're gonna love this." Stoner. They're That's like crazy. Slayer with breakdowns. Oh and shit! Like, nice. It's, re- it's really good. Like stony fucking Slayer. Tombstoner, dude. They're a good they band. talk about weed. It's not really black metal, but it's not. 
That's I don't know why that, that got what? thrown into the black metal. Conversation. Yeah, I don't know either. I just like wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just really wanted to say that word. It's such a good band name. Tube, Tube Honestly, Tube yeah. Hunters, that's sick. It's, that just, is like, sick. it's like one of the best band names I've heard in a long time. Well, they got some heat. They got some heat right now. They're doing all right. Dude, can you imagine? Where are they from? I think they're from Michigan because oh, yeah, their guitar player was at but the Pontiac. Have you heard this band, Gra uh, Grave Worm, Mark? No. It's good. Grave I think you'd like it. It's not a very black metal logo, but I get they're it. They're definitely black metal. Okay. Oh, they're Italian. Yeah. It's oh, I just, it makes sense. I guess I, because I, I liked old school black metal for a while, I just don't even really listen. Like, I don't look at Demu Borger as even being like black metal. It's mm. like it's, too, it's too clean and... Symphonic black metal isn't black metal to me. Let's say that mm. shit right. with shit with yeah. like too much keys and like overly done uh, like mood and ambience. It's like too. It's too much. How, mm. do, you, how do you feel about uh, Three Inches of Blood? A fucking sick band. Okay, I but that's not really sick. black metal either. Not. That's like me like that's it, it's got elements, but it's like Euro fucking wait, thrashy. Wait, but I mean, even yeah. even their their guitar player. Do Justin you think like, is even, like totally the black metal guy in that fucking band though? Do you think the like, old Dimu's like not really that, like the older shit? The, when when Shagrath was guitarist and yeah. vocals, yeah, for it was sure. that, way was, more, that was black metal. Yeah, I, I love the back in the day they had a keyboardist where he wasn't that good. The dude with the so top hat just followed the fucking <laughs> riff pretty much. Now it's just pure orchestra. It's insane. But <laughs> the dude with the top hat. Yeah, now they have the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> They have the guy, the keyboardist now God just has it, his, face, his face paint is just like, a, like the, oh yeah, it's, it's the, yeah, the, uh, it's just an eye bar. Let's go, <laughs> dude. The Fuck ham, yeah. We, we call we call him the Hamburglar. Holy shit, dang Mustis guy. was the best for <laughs> sure. Mustis for sure. What's he doing nowadays, dude? The, I, I found a video of him on YouTube, like drunk at a pub, and like he's like chocolate with people. And then he like sees a piano and goes and sits down, and then everyone just like. Goes around. Just start ripping. He just what? starts ripping the most beautiful, like of course, like um, of course, like if you type in Mustis on YouTube, where yeah, him just playing at a random pub in Sweden. No, that's not it. But oh, it's right there. Ch he does chopping at a bar, and everyone's like, <laughs> just <"Ch> chopping, <laughs> chopping. I call it chopping. <laughs> Chopin, Chopin, I know. <laughs> so he's just playing, and everyone's just like at the bar drinking, watching. It's this guy cut it. Or what? He cut his hair, <laughs> chopping, he's chopping it up. So this guy just got, he's probably cut his hair, got out of the band. He's just, oh, this is after he was in the band? Yeah, he's cut oh, his wow. hair, he's left the band. This is him just. He almost looks like he doesn't know what he's doing right now. Yeah. Like he's going oh, no, to figure there, it out. There yeah, there you go. If you fast forward to where he starts. Oh, he's already ripping. Oh, wow. It's fucking crazy. And he's probably kind of drunk, you know, so it's like. He's playing he's better. He's vibing. <laughs> Uh, the this, intro. This, this, this bitch is trying to talk to him. And he's like, Ugh. he doesn't even care. That's sick. Just random pub. People are like, damn. The intro of this, this, uh, Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropia. Look at this the girl. Demo record, <laughs> one of the best fucking compositions of all time. What is this blonde chick doing? She's fucking hammered, going, oh, he's dying. <laughs> what are you doing? How do you know how to do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, look at you're so fucking good. I'll fucking do it. You <laughs> fucking do it. I'll fucking I'll do fucking it. I'll fucking do it. Little do they know this motherfucker was on Ozfest. Dang, let's go. She's like, I heard you were in Demu Burger. Yes. <laughs> in Demon Burger? Let's see that Demu Burger cut. This is sick. It's chopping. <laughs> He's chopping it up this right is, there. He's chopping it up, dude. I will always call it chopping. I don't give a fuck. It yeah. just looks like chopping, chopping, bro chopping broccoli. Oh yeah, chopping, <laughs> chopping broccoli. I'll chop it up, dude. Don't worry about it. Good God, dude. <laughs> dude, it's sad. Damn, yeah. Black metal deserved all that time. We just talked about it. One hundred percent. Black metal's really cool. Yeah, suicide doesn't come from black metal at all. But <laughs> no, I remember mm. when I first joined Suicide Silence, I had never heard that song, "The Swarm." It was a new song that you guys had, mm. and yeah. of course, I knew the band before I joined the band. But that was like I, was, I had never heard that. There's a black metal part in that song. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. There's like a yeah, little fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah little... Oh, that is kind of like a dim yeah. type. Yeah. Of... That's like some fucking old ass suicide. Yeah. What is swarm even about? I don't uh, even read the lyrics. Or swarming, anything. dude. Is that about a bunch of bees? Fucking swarm. Going at swarm, you? Has, <laughs> swarm has one of my favorite lyrics in it, and it it goes scarpy be darpit, scarpy be darpit. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody here listens to our band, I assume you do. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think it, the actual lyric was like squirming away, stop eating nothing. 
Because oh, okay. again, I yeah, I had I joined the band. I had to learn all this stuff, you know. Yeah. So it's still ingrained in my brain. I still know none of our lyrics, but it's all good. Right there, screaming away, stop eating nothing. Fucking mother earth and her ass for a while. Fucking mother earth and her ass. I told Mitch how much I love that lyric, and then you he used it again. using it again in, in another song. Yeah, I forget which one. Use it again on No Time to Bleed somewhere. Yeah, I'm all dude. That lyric is so good. We've been fucking mother. We've been fucking mother earth for a while. Yeah. Yeah, she's a filthy bitch anyway. She's a filthy bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, that lyric is perfect. Yeah, oh my goodness. Again. Yeah, you got to use that shit. It's like when we when we took that one riff back from the old song. We oh yeah, let's, used, just, let's just take this. Yeah, let's do it again. It didn't there. come out as good as we wanted no, it to. No, it's not. It's because we did it in G. We should have yeah. never tuned down. It would have been fine. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck any of our songs are about. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> the prophecy played out. Swarm, what the hell is going on here? It's just. Swarm of humans, or what is this? Oh, it's also Swarm. where the name of spreading disease tour came from. Yeah, spreading, oh, spreading oh, disease, shit. spreading disease, spreading disease. Fucking Mother Earth and her ass. That's so. It's hard body, dude. That's so sick. It's hard as shit. It's we hard. are the swarm that rapes and what? That rapes and tricks. This is. Okay. Who we are the cool. swarm that. That's, 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 some, that's like some real, real metal stuff there. Dude, fucking This is pissed. a coming to destruction. Uh, is that also where cross-eyed catastrophe came from? Using the word, you see everything as cross-eyed. I don't doubt it, dude. Those themes, you know. Yep. The same, the, the same uh, nihilistic themes mm. for for everything for a while. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cross-eyed people, man. <laughs> What's with them? That's so hardcore. A qu question, <laughs> just only because I, 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 I never really knew or asked for that matter. Did Mitch write all the lyrics? In the in but, yeah, on like, the his, his, like, his, uh, his time he, with yeah, the band, of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as far as far as I know, I don't think Mitch like needed help or wanted help either. So I think he just. Busted I'll, it. I'll 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 throw somebody under the bus right now too. When we were, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> when we were, when I remember when I joined the band, jo Big Josh had a, like a lot to say about Mitch's lyrics, and I just joined the band, so I'm like mm. new to everything. So yeah. I'm like, all right, yeah, I guess mm. his lyrics suck. You know, and I'm looking at him like some of these are pretty cool. You know, yeah. <laughs> and, and I remember Josh brought some lyrics. And I read them, and I was, and I, I still remember it. it was like sometimes to make an omelet you have to crack a few eggs. Was it, was it a lyric? Oh, Come on, these are some of the worst lyrics I've ever read. Fuck yeah, Josh, Let's please not Let's use go. that. Sorry, Josh, Josh, I love you. You know I love you. Josh is pro he's probably a good cook. Well, that's the thing is Josh is a cook. Yeah. So I, I remember yeah. that too. Actually, yeah. now that you say that, Josh is a chef. So like I remember th seeing that I'm like, you would be thinking about eggs while you're writing lyrics, yeah. dude. I just are, met are I you... just met him for the first time in Mayhem. What a fucking sweet gentleman. Yeah, right? yeah. literally, dude. You know, every yeah. time I see he's, him, he's so you know, every time I see him, he always says, "How are you? How's it going? How's your family?" Yeah. Every dude. time, like he doesn't guy. give a fuck about the band. Doesn't give a fuck about. He's just a good dude. He wants just to know nice how dude. I'm doing. You know. That's he like, is literally there's, the all right, best dude. And maybe, I don't know, because you guys have obviously known him fucking way longer than I have. There's something kind of scary about him. Uh, oh yeah, he's he's he could he's a serial, oh, yeah. he's a serial killer that hasn't started killing people yet. That, <laughs> that. Or if he has, his body count's at least three hundred. He'll never yeah. get caught. Yeah, but also but just he's, just he's talking, cool. just, just very just smart talking about Super. Josh right now brings this energy of comedy because he yeah. is a comedian. Like he's oh. a natural comedian. Yeah, yeah. he is he's so got the, he's got funny, timing. dude. He is. Yeah, his time. It's his, his timing, timing is what timing. it is. It's did he like, do? Did he do stand up ever? Yes, he did. Huh. You I had to have. I drove out to Palm Springs just to see it one time. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, how that's was it? Sick. Yeah, yeah. Did it go good for him? It was great. Yeah? It was fucking badass. So he, how long did he do? I, I remember. 15, 20 minutes? This was, this, this, this was a while ago. Dude, doing stand-up has got to be the scariest thing in the world. Did you honestly fuck that? Yeah, no Dude, way. Doing stand-up? No out. way. Oh, never. I can be funny just on accident, but I can never be funny on purpose, I don't think. Like I'm having to do it on command. And like yeah, like I can't, I can't. My jokes just come out. They don't, I don't, if I plan the jokes, they wouldn't be as funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super interested in the art of uh, writing stand-up, though. Like, how do you even start oh, to do I think, it? Yeah. I think it's like people who like ride a public transit or something and see something funny on the bus they'll start writing it and then they'll keep adding into it i mean sure yeah sure but that i like the, the idea of it though is kind of crazy. i want to like, know i want to know like the process like I, I i'm sure a lot of people would be like how do you write a song and it's like obviously that's a really elaborate but answer I, too also, yeah yeah so yeah. like how do you write yeah. a fucking to minute yeah. to, yeah. to yeah. piggyback off that though you do make a good point and i also do think that that is something probably actually incredibly difficult to do because if you look if you're a dork like me and you watch like stand-up comedy specials to the end and like watch the credits, 
a lot of comedians have the same writers. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. There's like four or writers five, they like, trust. Mean fucking de- yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like you, that's another one of those like select few like I don't want to say like elite circle of like <sighs> people that that they like hire to do that kind of shit because they're I, insane I, at it. You I, know what I mean? Yeah, I, like, I think a lot of comedians are also naturally funny and talk about self-deprecating stuff, which people can relate to, which is funny. Yeah. But they also talk about stories that really did happen, and then they mm-hmm. just fabricate them to make it even funnier. And they embellish yeah. on them a bit. Yeah, for sure. And the, the, it, it's terrifying when they talk about they they go to smaller clubs to, to test to try out. It. They like they try it out. Oh, like they're like mm-hmm. oh, like, I don't have like a tagline yet. I don't have an intro yet. They like go out there like this, I got to change the punchline. Like, I hear the idea of like no matter how big you are, you're like you still bomb. Mm-hmm. And that's fucking cr- that's cr- that, 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 oh, yeah. dude! Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah. I, I, say I was Adam trying Sandler. trying out a riff on on, on a stage. Adam Sandler said he bombed crazy. on Rogan. Think like, about no. it. Think about it like this, though. Like when like you played a new song, and you're like, mm, haven't really worked out the kinks yet on how to like deliver that song live. Yeah, you yeah. know, like us bombing playing a new song yeah. is kind of similar to like them bombing like bombing on like a joke or two. Yeah, you know they're working it out. You're working it out on like I've thought about that too, yeah. like big time. Yeah, and like thinking about we bomb. You know, it's like yeah, oh wait sure, that part sure. of we yeah. gotta fucking tighten that up. You know, we gotta tighten that part up. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. it's like I, I I was telling you guys when me and Zach went to go see Craig Robinson at the Improv mm-hmm. in LA or whatever. Yeah, he was he was like the, the I guess the headlining act. He was the last person on, and it was Paul Rodriguez, Dane Cook, another dude, and then. Paul Rodriguez is funny. He was hilarious. But by the time Craig Robinson came on, you know, he does like his whole bit. He plays songs on piano. Yeah. And does like, he's fucking hilarious. Was the crowd already kind of laughed out? Bro. He, he literally went and like purposely bombed till there was me, Sid, Zach, three other people that we came with, and eight people left in the fucking room till like one in the morning. And he like, oh, it, it was fucking ridiculous. Like You when learn started, more from that yeah. shit. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. It, I think about it. It's, I compare we stayed it to the music. Very end. It's like, and it was hilarious, but you could tell 100%. like certain shit wasn't landing and people would just get up and leave. They would start walking out. And he'd be like, hey, motherfucker, where you going? Like, <laughs> like, but it was all so like hilarious. But also like, imagine just sitting down behind a piano in a room that small that was full when you started bombing and people are just fucking leaving. And it was literally like twelve people wow. left in total at like one in the morning when we that's walked outside. Fun, that's fun though. It was fun. fucking badass. Yeah, that's super dude. fucking. Can, yeah. you, can, you, can, you, can you imagine seeing like fucking a sick ass band and like you're the last ten people there just to like get their last song? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Let's do a tour where we just go try out new material. <laughs> let's let's nothing go, but small, nothing small, deep cuts. Small, no, not deep cuts. Like songs oh, that unreleased. Shit. Or no, yeah, small, small clubs. That would be kind or, of sick. Or like small actually. clubs. Let's suck real bad on purpose to see how many people will leave. <laughs> most people, like covers most, that we never most heard. diehard fans would stay home. Or no, the diehard fans would come, and the fans that just want to hear the hits would stay home. So you got to play the small places. That'd be sick. And then you just go play shit that no one's ever heard before. Yeah. Wow. And be like, maybe this will make a record. Maybe it won't. We, you know, we, I we, don't we know. can do oh, Jerry's Pizza. Green Turtle. Let's <laughs> go. I never want to do Jerry's Pizza I'm ever again. Mark might have fucking said a crazy fucking idea. It might happen. I'm down. That's fucking. Sick. I never want to go to Jerry's Pizza again. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's art. Two nights, two nights in every city. <laughs> Fuck it, fucking three. Half night, half <laughs> night. Every first city. two night, first two nights are ideas that we've already had, and then third night we're just riffing. We're just riffing. Yeah, hey, we're man. switching instruments up here. <laughs> that might be kind of crazy. Garth is drumming tonight. <laughs> that might be. That'll sound better. What? What? I mean, it's debatable, but no, it's yeah. Not. yeah it's I, accurate. Uh, uh. So yeah, December seventh, I'm going to see. Uh, Dr. Phil. What? We're at, oh, at... With Tony Hitchcliffe and Adam Devine at, in San Diego. Nice. I haven't been to a comedy show in a long time. You're going to have a blast. That shit's going to be hilarious. I hope he makes fun of you. And you know who's coming to Temecula? <laughs> you know who's Player? coming to Temecula that we, we should go next month? Hmm. Pablo Francisco. Oh, yeah. All right. Damn, what? he's still really? Yeah. I was just thinking about him like, oh. like last oh. question. Tickets, are, tickets are 23 bucks. Come to Temecula. Dude, I'm Smooth. Going. Soft. It's going. Going. Next month when? It's on Jefferson. It's I don't know it's called Salud Sports Bar or something. Let's I'm, go. Oh, yeah, oh wait, it's not even like go. a big place. Yeah, look at okay. Where where is it? Oh, wait, it's November something. No. Well, yeah, you haven't heard about him in a while. It's not so on there yet, playing. but it's it's if you look hey, up. Of course, he's what? playing at Desert Ridge Improv. Look up in his fucking. If you look at Salud IG or something, Salud. not even on his website. It's such a small show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of crazy. Dude, we gotta see it. Salud, um, Salud Sports Bar Temecula. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, he, has no, he doesn't even post on. It was on Eventbrite. Oh. I don't even know what he sounds like now. What dude, he, does. he was fucking hilarious. He was so funny, so man. Hilarious, dude. Yeah, yeah he was going to get good. fucked up for sure. 
Eventbrite. Okay, so it'd be his page. And they are on, per- oh, never mind. His page on Eventbrite. It'd be in November. So can you go to? The, yeah, so it's, it's, right it's not even on his website. It's, that's it's right, fucking it's right there. gnarly. Yeah, click there. No, that's, and then click his name, maybe. No. Oh no, that's a different. Sh- can he like s- see all dates or something? Okay. The- that guy, that fan, is coming to Temecula too. Dates and time. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There it is, Jefferson. Oh, it's in January. It's in January, you dickhead. Whoops. January twelfth. That's like fucking next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> kind of is. Dude. From seven kinda, to eight thirty. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Dude, I'm That's so tight, in. That'd dude, be yeah. sick as fuck, dude. Yeah, totally. Let's I'm go. I'm so in. Yeah, I'm down. Damn, fucking family fucking comedy fucking show. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Go, dude. I mean, it's just Let's crazy. Get made fun of. And, you know, okay. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Also, I got to show you guys. In this thir- there, Never mind. This thir- Halloween yeah. trapped. Huh? Oh, oh, trapped yeah, is Yeah, play- dude. Yeah. Trapped played last week. Last week. <laughs> Trap played Where? on Halloween in Tobacco. Oh, they did? Yeah, I saw that, actually. <laughs> At Bastard's Brewery. Did you watch it? No. I <laughs> no. They had a whole meet and greet. You Me and Dan Kenny were thinking about buying the VIP you to Trap. <laughs> yeah, there it was. <laughs> it, we, we're going to buy the VIP, dude. Fuck Halloween yeah, bash. Dude. Not one cup. <laughs> 24 likes right there, so, dog. <laughs> so, so who's talking shit? Is, is it his, their guitar player? He trap? Shit? Yeah. Oh, the, no, it's the, the singer. Whole, the singer the goes singer? crazy online. Yeah. Sick. Let's let's let, let's go. Look at it. There's their tour. Let's he's, see their, he's, the, he's really mastered let's see the art their tour of doubling dates. down, dude, and just fucking... We got Temecula, California. I love that. They're playing Redlands. Oh, they're playing Anaheim. Where in Anaheim? What's the I venue? bet it's Chain. Friday. No, they're probably playing the uh, or Doll Constellation. Hut. Anaheim Parish. Oh, ew, really? Parish. Parish. Damn, the, 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 the small room at House of Blues? They're playing, playing Parish. All right. The Whiskey, Paper Tiger. Fuck yeah, Fat dude. Jack's, Jack's Oyster Bar. Let's go, dude. Christ, dude. Oh, Fuck man. yeah. Dude, look at this. Look at the, we could get, get the gold VIP or you could get the platinum VIP. <laughs> platinum VIP, get, you get a private acoustic bus <laughs> hang. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh. I don't know, dude. <laughs> what the fuck I don't know, dude. He little what does he know. I, I drugged the thousand, the th- the one hundred grams, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, look at that. That's what he looks like. Make you strong. <laughs> Make you strong. <laughs> Take on anyone, <laughs> dude. Dude, Cameron from Born of Osiris' version is way better, dude. So wait, what do you know about this? What do you know about Trap Dan King? I just know about the head song, Headstrong song and then the shit talking on the internet. Yeah, who mean, was he talking shit on? He went a whole whole other level. Uh, he, got, he got like super political, with, like the whole Trump thing. Who who was talking shit? Who was he talking shit to? Oh, just like fans. I, no, like people yeah. that were like fans? in the comments. Yeah, like people no, commenting on Didn't he start shit, ripping like, on like fucking um, metal bands? Yes. He, like you guys I all forgot. live at home. You guys sound like. Yeah, I forgot who it was. Like so he, it was someone from like a death band or heavy band that like tweeted at him and it turned into this big old fucking thing yeah i um, want to say wasn't it even born of cyrus that they were back bickering back and forth that's why he made the song like, yeah to... dude cam's version is ridiculous dude to... i want to see cam from from born of cyrus's version of Trap. oh dude go... <laughs> i remember all this shit going down and i i just don't i didn't pay that much attention to it it was pretty like uh mean i remember him just being an idiot yeah, yeah, the singer of this band being a complete idiot, and I do remember Googling what they were doing recently, and I saw a bunch of people leaving their show on <laughs> oh, a video. Here it is. <laughs> here it is. This, this is, is the is greatest it. thing ever. Yeah, this is Cameron from Born yeah. Cyrus. It's like, gah, gah. oh, it's heavy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Listen. And you know I look guys. Oh my god. I'll suck your tongue. <laughs> I'll suck up anyone. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh I, I, dude, I fucking love him so oh much. That's amazing. Goodness. That's Cam, Cam's the goat for that shit. That's that's good. Dude, yeah, I love that's that so good. much. Yeah. One, the first, we tour, we, off, we, we tour with Born of Osiris. I, I have to tell the story. In 2008, we we did a European <laughs> tour so with Born of Osiris. We went to a Scottish like gnarly <laughs> disco, and everyone in Born of Osiris, all of us, we got butt ass wasted, and we were. All, I don't even know what the fuck we were doing. There was like a dance floor, all the shit, and everybody in Born of Osiris started a fucking dog pile. And Ronnie, I think Ronnie was at the bottom and holding everyone up, like piggyback riding fuck. everybody. And then Cam comes jumping. <laughs> he must have been like fucking 12 feet in the air and takes everyone out and then fall. And then it's like a waterfall of Born of Osiris <laughs> and falls. And then we all get kicked out of this fucking club. And that's that's my wow. that's my memory of, of Born of Osiris and Cam. Every time I see Cam. I don't think I've ever had a normal time with Born of Osiris. <laughs> like, let's go have dinner and like talk about stuff. No, it's like, let's go get shit faced and break some things. <laughs> exactly. You know? I feel like Mexico yeah. City was the most normal time we've ever hung out with Born yeah. of Osiris. Yeah, what happened? I don't remember. I must must have been boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, funny. Yeah. Oh, wait. If I don't remember, maybe it was a good time. I don't know. Dude, yes. I mean, those guys are fucking fun to party with. <laughs> we saw them in Mayhem. So yeah. That was cool to see them for a little bit. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. I want Trap in the podcast. You what? Oh, jeez. Well, they'll be in Temecula, so we can... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can probably snag him, dude. Fucking, <laughs> fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, that's that dude, huh? That's yeah. him. Yeah, he looks like a real nice guy. He looks like his name is fucking Chode Williams. Chode Williams the third. <laughs> dude, smile empty soul, dude. Well, smile yeah, empty soul? That's out. even crazier. I know. I don't know who that is. Shout out. I was coming up, like, right now. That's well, it's, it's literally today. No, wait. <laughs> that's cool. Last week... Yep, trap night last week tonight. What's oh, that little so What's that little logo under the A? The little U sign. What? Oh, the little U under oh, the A. Oh, it's T. It's another little T. Oh, I yeah. guess it's it's a little fucking pee pee. A little pepper. Yeah, just a little Ernie's little pepper. Yeah. So anything, anytime something happens to Temecula or Lake Elsinore or Marietta, it's like very special to me because no one goes <laughs> there. No one goes there because <laughs> it's the, yeah, it's, it's cool. like such a middle of nowhere place. That's why I'm like Pablo Francisco going there. Hell yeah, That's dude! Sick. Look at that! Look at that crowd, that dude! That band I'm friends with, Nine Dad, is playing a show in Lake Elsinore. Really? Yeah. Where? What venue? In I don't know. They just told me about it, and I'm like, I'll be there. What the fuck? Where are they playing? That's I don't cool. know. When? Uh. Jesus Next Christ. February, I don't know when it is. Don't ask. I don't know bad at dates, but I'll find out. Shit. The thing they were looking for a place to rehearse, and I was like, hmm. nice. There's a spot in Temecula. Yeah. Well, good. good Headstrong. Should we, uh, Jay? Should we think it might be time to uh, tackle some uh, current events? If we went black metal to trapped. I think we're ready. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I don't know how we got. Yeah, I don't here. think anybody I don't know. Anybody yeah. knows how we got here. <laughs> we're fucking no, here. What are we dude? doing here, dude? Of course, Quentin of course. Tarantino loves Joker too. He's a fan of film. Mm-hmm. All right, just it's like, like uh, comic book geeks in Hollywood. All right, All right I so still haven't seen it, so I don't really know what the fuck to say. Yeah, I me mean, neither. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe watch it sometime. Has Quentin Tarantino announced what his last movie is going to be? I don't think so. He's probably mm. working on it already. I thought it was a critic. Yeah, he so he actually has it's, people know what it is. He's on his last movie, right? That's what he says. The movie critic. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh. Okay. The movie critic was canceled. Hmm. Brad Pitt was named to play the lead, was rumored to play the lead. Wonder. Change his mind. Go back to the drawing board. Did okay. It, did, any, did anybody like, like Once Upon a uh-huh. Time in Hollywood? I like that movie. Yeah. Oh, I I that I've seen it like six times. It's great. It's a great movie. Yeah. I like the part oh, where uh, the girl gets her head slammed against the, the, oh. bo- the front board of the fireplace. Dude. Yeah. It's so dark. Dan Kenny loves the darkness. I love he brutality. Yes. Um, we had Isla Lake dying, but I crossed that out. Yeah. You guys want to check this? Oh, what? Okay. First of all, I don't really know who this is. Frankie Valley. Who is Frankie Valley? He's a singer from back in the day. Is he like an opera guy or something? No, no. No, he's the like you know like bops like pop. Like old like oldies. I thought Frankie. I thought he was dead. He had uh, he has some fucking bangers. Yeah, dude. of course. Okay, so I'm he's ninety years old right bangers. now. Still okay. Ugh. He's ninety, and they're complaining about him lip syncing. Let the guy fucking live, bro. He's ninety. It's almost a hundred. Uh, so, is a video of this controversial or something? Uh, I mean, all right. Let's see. 
<laughs> so they weakened and birdies him and fucking then talk shit? <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's oh. definitely lip syncing. Uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> and that sucks. That's fucking elderly abuse. Let him fucking stay at home. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. Fucking, give the guy a fucking break. Come on. Man. Somebody All give right. the guy a well, foot rub. If you guys want to talk about the some current events. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so, real quick at that, and I'll say it, and then we'll fucking close it because yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not fair. He, uh, Sherry, that, that, that that's a hit. tone? That's a hit. That high pitch? No, you're not going to hit that, dude. No, I don't think even. Sherry, yeah. let, let's go. <laughs> I like that guy on the left. So wait, now they're just saying that he's gonna. Is that some? Are they trying to say he's lip syncing forever, or what? Yeah. Poor dude. But he's nine. He doesn't know where the fuck he's at. Fuck dude. everyone that has an opinion on that. Yeah, that he, is still, in the negative. I don't, he, <laughs> he, I don't, dude, he's a fucking legend, dude. He's fucking ninety Jerry, goddamn dude, years on. old, dude. Yeah, ninety's insane to do anything. If he's, he does, if he did a cartwheel, I'd be impressed. <laughs> I'm thirty eight. I could fucking barely do this shit. Wait, who the fuck? <laughs> fuck you guys. A, my brother just brought it up to me. Didn't they do something special for Ozzy just recently? Yeah, he's in the fucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then, like mm -hmm. people perform, oh, people performed all around it, playing his songs. There's a song with like with Wolfgang that. Van Halen and mm -hmm. singer of Tool together or something. Mm. Oh fuck! Sick. Yeah, my brother yeah, said Jack was, Black fucking introduced him. I really, yeah, that. But my brother said, oh, "Watch whoa. that, it's insane." He said, "So it'll leave you speechless." Did you watch that already? Uh, no, I didn't. <coughs> I should. I don't know why I haven't. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know Eddie was fucking oh, hosting this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude that's, Eddie why, made it. that's why Eddie couldn't make the podcast. Oh, that's why oh, Eddie's not here. Yeah. Oh, he was inducting Ozzy into yeah, the podcast. Yeah, oh, that okay. makes more sense. Fuck yeah, man. Congrats, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like go like the middle or something. Like, everybody's. <laughs> that's the sickest throne I've ever seen. Oh, I got thrown. No, Fuck no. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> He's the goat. Yeah, dude. I love him. Love him, love him. Randy Rhodes. Yeah, yeah of course. Mm -hmm. That was like his best friend. No, it's that he's saying it right there. If, if Ozzy didn't meet Randy in those early days, nobody would have wrote those first two records. Yeah, that's true. He's, I mean, he was the dot. He was the guy. Jesus, what the fuck, Sharon? Why do you look like that? Yeah, she's been getting <laughs> crazier lately. Yeah, dude. I just want to see some guitar shredding. Is that is the drummer of Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. So you don't watch this either, huh? No. Yes. Dude, Chas Mint has the sickest groove, man. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, my brother said it gave him goosebumps. That's cool. Sick. Can you imagine just your dad being hella sick and then you just automatically are sick too? That's pretty... Wow. Damn, I actually didn't know he could play like that. Oh, dude, he fucking rips. <laughs> jelly, roll. jelly roll there you go that's dope they picked the perfect drummer to do it too 100 percent. and then the fucking this garza <laughs> appreciate that man mark and garza on stage we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah, is too. crazy is that the no doubt no doubt guy no it is looks it, like the guy from no doubt is that pat smear yeah that's what i thought that, it was. yeah i think it's pat what's smear. he from is that pat smear Pat Smear's from Nirvana and Foo Fighters. Oh, I think that's him, no? 
Uh, yeah, that's probably Pat Smear. It's not fucking oh, the no guy. Not the guy. You're from... thinking Tom Dumont. Yeah. I feel bad. I, I, you can't get it. So, what we see is kind of not clear. Could be. Mark Shred. That's not Pat Smear. Oh, no. That's no. not. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Hey, who is that? I don't know. Floyd Halen. <laughs> posted Floyd by, Halen. Posted by Floyd Halen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lars played drums on some stuff there they said yeah I want to watch a lot of more of the stuff Dave Grohl played War Pigs on drums that's sick Dave Grohl did yeah okay sick. okay so question yeah uh where's Black Sabbath are they already in Hall of Fame or no yeah they already got yeah, yeah okay. inducted nice. yeah this is Ozzy for his solo career wow. yeah so yeah Holy to be to be inducted to the Hall of Fame twice twice I think there's only a small list of people you're a oh, double damn. legend jeez like, dude that's crazy deserves it like Stevie Nicks Stevie Nicks is in with also Fleetwood Mac yeah so wow. I think she's in twice oh Billy Idol who else um I know you got the trivia maybe Steven Tyler maybe no, he didn't have a solo career. No? I don't know. Who's in the Hall of Fame twice? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Maybe David Gilmore? No, nah, he wouldn't have got it. Sammy Hagar? No. Roger Watton. I'm curious. John Lennon, that makes sense. Jeff yeah. Beck, Jimmy Twice, Page, though? No, I don't think it. Reed. For I don't Beatles, think, I don't think John Lennon by himself? Is Jeff Beck for Rod Stewart? Oh. oh, oh! Michael Jackson's in for Jackson Five and him. And, yep. Stevie Nicks has one Nicks. I know. Tina Turner. Dang. Carol King. Two time. Oh shit! Oh, for oh, what? Oh, the shit. only person Eric. Cla- well, he is that sick. So Yardbirds, Cream, and yeah, oh, and yeah. Solo. Damn. Damn. Dude, can you imagine being important, but like three times? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I can't even get one. And you're Eric Clapton. You're still trying to sue people for selling your fucking bootlegs. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Hard. Yep. Well, shout out. Cool. Who's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year? Who made it this year? Oh, there's a. Dude, Dave Matthews okay. band. Those are the bands that made it or no? Plug. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, who's the Peter, band? Peter I want, the Pone? list of people who didn't get in is also crazy to see. Of course. Like. Everybody still. Yeah. yeah. ICP, where are they at? <laughs> It's coming, dude. It's coming. Seriously. It will. Yeah, what's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame going to be like in 100 years? I, I think about that. Like, first of all, like, there's stuff like ICP and, like, New Metal is going to be like, oh, my God, they fucking. But then yeah. when we get older, who knows where it's going to be? Serious. Who? I mean, like, Limp Bizkit was a big band. Okay, they're going to get on there. They, they have they to. They changed the, the whole game of t- television and have music to. together. They fucking have to. Oh, yeah, Dave Grohl's in there twice. That's nice. Oh, of course he is. That's dope. Yep. So the wait, Michael. Curtis Mayfield twice. Who was, or is this still the twice? Mayfield was first inducted ninety one. And solo. Oh, see, I just learned something. I didn't know Curtis Mayfield was in the impressions. I just learned. I don't even know who that is. He's a pushing man. Oh, okay. Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Lou Reed. For his worst. Oh, Lou, have you ever? Have you guys ever heard that Lou Reed Metallica record? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never has. Have has. <laughs> it never has. I never has. I never has, guys. Never has. Is it fucking? Never, fuck have, it? never is has. It, is it? Abs- <laughs> I've never heard it because I just always am scared to watch it or hear it. I can't even talk today. <laughs> I has. I has never heard it. <laughs> no, I think that everybody was just in line to hate Metallica more, and when it came out, everybody is just it hated that bad? Just as much as Saint Anger. Is it that bad? Mm-hmm. The Lulu record. I mean, I can't speak for the whole entire fucking metal community, but it's not like as it? bad as people make it out to be. It's not like I like it. It's just like people were just into hating Metallica when it came it's out. It's not metal whatsoever, right? No. It's kind of, it's kind of, let's, it's, it's, uh, it's a piece, you know? Yeah. They knew what they were doing. They, they, they didn't care what we thought or anybody thought. Yep. Crank this shit, Jay, for like <laughs> for, 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 for like ten seconds. Dan, Dan, Dan Kenny's intrigued. <laughs> okay. He despises you. All right, it sounds a lot better when James starts singing. I'll say that. <laughs> The production, has, on, the production on it sounds good. It's, it's cool. Well, yeah. has they better? The drums sound better than Ernie. What? 
Oh man. So yeah. Dude, I think James Hetfield has one of the coolest voices in metal ever. He's he so so nobody sounds like him at all. Totally. <laughs> Dude, and he, uh, Mustang is way sicker, dude. Oh, he's the Mustang is fucking the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> my brother found I'm this. I'm trying to get DK fired up right dude, now, my dude. my brother found oh, this what, thing on YouTube with, like, you? all these Megadeth oh, no. records that are instrumental. Way sicker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Without fucking... <laughs> Dan Kenny, you love Megadeth. Don't yeah. sing over cool riffs. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Great <laughs> advice. Don't sing over cool riffs. Great. <laughs> Great, great advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no thanks, dude. Let's go. <laughs> is this all just this? <laughs> this is, this is fucking great. amazing. Yeah, this go. is like the Red Hot Ch or uh, California fucking Anthony Kiedis. <laughs> That's my favorite shit. Is this like his voice maturing, but it gets worse? <laughs> oh, this is when we got kicked off the tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? 2009. <laughs> wow. Was that... Dude, that wall of cabs right is insane. Was that right before or after No Time to came out? It after. It was after. <laughs> yep, I'll never forget it. Elephants don't forget. <laughs> Forgive, but never forget. Never forget. Oh, that's how you find it when you lose it. Yeah, it's just drop, just drop your your shit. Anything else, Jay? Uh, I thought I thought we had the uh, drummer thing queued up. Oh, I, I thought I thought we had a. I think it was uh, Arc Spire reacting or something. Like, 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 whatever the fuck. It well, works out. It's cool. If not, it's fine. What, oh, I found this guy who's trying out for Arc Spire that was making a joke about it. That was really funny. Oh, bro. It's yeah. turned into a fucking, just a crazy He's like, I'm 100% vegan. I need to have a peanut butter <laughs> jelly sandwich between every song. Hell Why? Yeah. Is it like a thing? <laughs> what is that? There it is right there. Sick. <laughs> is that their, who is that guy? It's it's the band. Oh. I think I've only met them once, and it was really fast. We are looking for a hunk. I mean, I've a hunk? Cool. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for a hunky drummer. Yeah. A hunky drummer. We're looking for someone with proper hair care routine. Yeah. Just take your name. They're all bald. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait a second. This is a dig at us. So we need someone that's very smart. They seem like cool dudes, man. Is this the video yeah. you you were talking about, Garza? Oh yeah, this is it. Yeah, but there there is like a part where the actual drumming. Oh, like think, uh, just a bunch of dudes. Are these a bunch of people are trying they all out? Filthy or what? Yeah. Is the, is this them watching tryout videos? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Hey, Jay, where, a good idea. Where where is the part where we were talking about? It's after this guy right there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So. Arkspire casting couch. <laughs> Ernie, step it up, dude. You need fucking better no. drumsticks, man. No. No? What happened to their drummer? Did they just. Did he just. I think he left. Did he just stepped down, yeah. Is that. Whoa, those are sick shoes. Who's this Ernie? Uh, Ricardo Merlini. Oh, that's that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is he he's faking been, it though? So he's yeah, is he, he is a really good drummer, and the beef that everyone has right now is that he's posting all these videos as uh, like one take performances, unedited, untouched, and they're fucking clearly quantized to a grid and edited the piss out of. Like really? Yeah. Uh, Craig. Do they call him out on this? Video. No, they probably don't. But Craig already did. Like uh, on on the downbeat and a couple other drummers, Caputo has been fucking shitting all over him. It's, it's oh, been wow. really hilarious. And the dude's honestly, but kind he's of a known dick on as like a too. really really fast. Like I've always yeah. seen all his like 300 yeah. BPM and faster shit. Yeah, yeah. But now he's doing that thing where it's like, like you see him playing and you can clearly see there's absolutely zero power. Mm. In is that the real drummer? Or no? And and every drum hit is like at 127 velocity. His uh, sticks are like this high from the fucking head. 
and the hits are this fucking loud, and you're just like, okay. All, you know what I mean? They're like snare bombs. And they, like like and they told him nobody would fucking bat a fucking eyelash if he was uploading it as, okay, a playthrough or whatever. But uploading him as a one take or all natural raw drum playthrough, it's like, you're fucking. You're, you're trying to pull a shade over people's eyes, and even the stupidest person could be like, "Yeah, this is fucking edited the hell out of, dude. It's so bad." Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah sure, Craig's I'm, video is fucking. Cameras are exposing. Oh <laughs> shit, it's really happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that, I watched Craig's video. That that was, that was when I watched. So, but but as as a drummer, I I could I could only like imagine that's like that will secretly probably piss piss you off. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Does it make you feel good that he's being called out for it? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's probably that's probably a better question. One hundred percent. And like I said, from everything I've seen, he's kind of a shit. Kind of has a shit personality on the internet too. Like he like doubles down in the comments and like talks shit back to people on the internet for calling him out. Yeah. And the only people he's like cool with are people that praise him. Who is, for like who being is this a guy drummer. again? Craig. He plays drums in Straight from the Path. That's right. Mm-hmm. He has his own podcast, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it does. And like, yes, and, does. and I'll even give it to him. Even he gives some credit. He's like, it's he's not a bad drummer. He is a phenomenal drummer. Yeah, but every, like I said, everyone's issue with him is just posting shit like this and saying that it's unedited or untouched. Can't do that. And it's like you can't do that, bro. It's edited the fuck out of like. Remember, Mark, you know? when we were we were uh, we were all doing like the playthroughs, and then we were talking about it, and hey, maybe we should have someone to help us. And then there's rumors going around that even like the one take playthroughs <laughs> aren't one take, aren't exactly one take. And oh they, yeah, of course. People, people are miming it as far as vocals or like, like what like what have huh. you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We. Le- I, I mean, I, le- I, le- I learned that the hard way. <laughs> yeah. People don't want. People don't want anything fake. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not even that you don't want anything fake. It's like you don't want to put something out that doesn't sound good. So now all of a sudden, it's like everybody needs everything to be perfect. It's. It's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was already thinking about that with Archspire's drumming and them looking for a drummer. It's like a weird way that everything has come around. Like Archspire and their band. Is almost like what when we were kind of first starting as like extreme wanting to make gnarly music we wanted everything to be so fast and so fucking gnarly it wasn't yeah. even possible yet to like go as fast as we wanted and yeah. make it sound good so people yeah. started faking it yeah and then we would be like well that's fucking lame we know you fake that but yeah. now fast forward to now it's possible to play that fast and possible to do these things yeah. because we were striving and faking it so much y- yeah. yeah so now it's like this whole thing where people are trying to catch up with the fucking gnarliness that has been you were able to program the craziest fastest shit so now drummers can play it yeah you, you know, know what i mean remember like when triggers yeah. were fake yeah exactly you, you use triggers you're fucking faking, faking it, it and dude, now you yeah, know? everyone uses them no, no, yeah, no, no one that, has yeah. raw kicks anymore at all now everybody <laughs> now yeah you expect a perfect sound everybody everybody i feel like born like 90 in the 90s their ears are accustomed to hearing things a certain way we're like us we're used to hearing things like a little we can hear the rawness and appreciate it where like mm-hmm. if people are used to hearing things so perfect they want it that way all the fucking time and that's mm-hmm. why you have everybody running tracks that's why you have like people striving for perfection that yeah mm-hmm. like you there is no there is nothing but perfection so the archspire this this whole thing it doesn't surprise me that some fucking dipshit fucking faked his tryout like Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's just how it goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I mean, really, everybody's trying to just sound perfect because that's what everybody's everybody wants yeah. right now. Like, yeah, yeah. It's hard to be a lot, a lot of pressure. I'm sure it's hard to be a uh, fucking. What's a fucking good example? Real. No, somebody that's fucking sick. It's hard to be Nirvana. Like you know, what I mean, Nirvana. You go watch Nirvana live videos from the '90s. Mm. Hell no, that shit ain't fucking perfect. That shit sounds like. I can't imagine how young people, how that hits their ears, because sometimes that shit's out of tune. No, yeah, you know, like that shit ain't even fucking nails tuned on a chalkboard. Right. Yeah, it's like, like this is a perfect example. This Reading, yeah, maybe not this song, but like this whole show. If you were to watch this whole thing, it's like it's riddled with fucking raw, sick shit. Oh, well, what's for dinner? <laughs> What is, what, is what is for dinner, Dan Kenny? I don't know. Hot dogs. Graziano's? <laughs> Glizzies? I think, uh, I think we're going to Graziano's. Are you guys going? I'm going to Trivia. Yeah, Trivia boy. See, this time it's Eddie's fault that I'm not in the band yet because you still can't go to fucking Anchos, dude. No, that's... I, I got fucking this. bastard, bro. You'll be... Uh, so, yeah. We're going to do... Make sure it's, it works out. We make sure the, the rental car is 
paid for, and yeah. we're and Eddie will be here on the next one, and he will leave the band via podcast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to do it, to do, to do it in person. Yeah, he'll read his handwritten letter. He'll go back to <laughs> that host, that he'll go back to hosting Hall of Fame shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, cheers, y'all. I love yeah. you. Yeah, cool. Thank you for uh, listening, and watching as always. Cheers, everybody. All right, that's it. Later. Like and subscribe. Okay. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash Ernie's fucking ass. Alright, what is it? Oh shit.